is a, a very experienced uh, Agile coach, leadership coach, and is going to talk to us a little bit about high performance teams and trust. So um, take it away. Thank you. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, so we've just been uh, listening to John, and I think there's quite a nice link between what I'm going to do and what he talked about, which is about this relaxed atmosphere, which seems quite important, I think. So I hope we're going to create an even more relaxed atmosphere now. Yeah. So what I want you to do to, is to explore trust. And when, I, when I'm talking about trust, I'm not talking about do you trust him and does she trust you? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when we're looking at a team, so either if you're in a team or if you work alongside a team, what are the things that affect the way we trust that team? And what does the team need to do to be trusted as a team? Which links totally into the shit nightclub thing, okay? So I want you, I'll kind of, I kind of need to tell you what to do before you split up and then, and then I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll get it. But So broadly what I want you to do is split yourselves into groups of roughly five, roughly, really doesn't matter, yeah? Find a space and grab a sheet of flip chart. I've got some masking tape, so you can stick it on the wall or on the window, but spread around the room, yeah? Find a space, about five of you. The first question I've got, so when you get there, and I'm going to just keep walking around helping, yeah? The first question I've got is, I want you to draw something, because maybe some of you can draw. We know there's one person in the room who can draw. <laughs> I can't draw. I'd have to draw a graph, but maybe you can draw something nicer, that shows me how you think a team is trusted. And then I'm going to come around and ask you about four or five more questions over the next, it won't take an hour, the next however many minutes. So the first step is find four friends, find some masking tape, find a sheet of paper, and find a space. Is that okay? Any questions, any thoughts? Repeat the first question. Sorry? Just repeat the first question. Yeah, so the first question is draw something that shows me, and we'll kind of refine it and refine it, and then you'll change your mind, and, and that's fine. But draw something that shows me how a team is trusted. And I'm thinking over time, and by whom is going to be one of the questions. So I'm, I'm just leaving it pretty open to start with. There's no right answer here, yeah? It's to get you talking about it. You could draw a load of rubbish and throw it on the floor and still find it valuable, hopefully, yeah? <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so just, just start and we'll see what happens, okay? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We're learning to we're talking. You're talking, that's we're fine. Learning. You're chatting. And you're, and you're in a very relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's like a symbol, like a circle of trust, okay? And it was related to that Robert Nero film where you're either in the circle of trust or you're out the circle of trust. Okay, that's right. That's Robert De Niro. So he's in. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Is that is that an octopus? <laughs> it's the problems that really tall Capricorn everything upon the top. So what are the what have we got so far then? Track records. What's the problem? A, so I'm gonna add, add another bit of detail is I wanna see how you're trusted over time. Yeah? Now, are you, is time moving from left to right on there or not necessarily? Is not that a conveyor belt or it's something? An it's an, yeah, it looks like one. Yeah. It? No, it's an iteration. So it just changes yeah. the time based on... And there's no right answer. Yeah. Everybody's doing something different, which is good. So if you've got a team, you know, imagine you're the team or you're thinking about a team. Sometimes it helps to think about a real team. There's no right answer, but it's, it's the, the journey over time. It sometimes helps for you to imagine a team that you know or that you're in or that you are in. But what I'm saying is trust in them is not fixed. So try and show me something about that. You've got a clock. Oh, you've got a clock. That's a good start. <laughs> so, so it's not fixed, which is fairly obvious, I think. So it's how you adapt. And because then what I'm going to come, I'm going to keep coming around with more, is I'm going to start asking you what's changing trust. Why, you know, if you, if you draw something that shows me it changed, I want you to, to, to be able to tell me why it changed and what's changed, and we're going to get into more detail, yeah? So what, what, does, what are you showing at the bottom there? So we're showing that our scope, delivery, and along with delivery, naturally comes increased trust. And, and what are points? What does that mean? 
and don't say prizes. We didn't have a different <laughs> colour. So, so is that like story points or basically some sort of yeah, value no, or something? The dots, the dots could just signify a different line. They're not. So delivering stuff. You're, you're well, it's, it's more coming through on what you promised. Okay. We, we, we agreed so, to do something. So over time, it. because we're delivering what we promised, over time the trust is trust increasing. Is Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. And that's our trust line. Great. I okay. Think okay. That's honest as part of that, which we've tried to convey with the halo. Yeah. There, there are more colours there if you want, because you could, you could, I don't know, you could say, well, there's a, there's a, you could plot honesty, couldn't you? There's all sorts of things you yeah. can do. Yeah. Okay. So can you can you just recap for me? So you've got that the wavy graph, the heartbeat type thing is that, that's that's the trust bit. No, is that, but they're no? all different. Um, it depends whether you've got an established team, a, yeah. an unknown team, or a new team. Okay, it right. Can go anywhere. Yeah. That's, that's great because I was going to I was going to think about that in a minute. So that's yeah. good. Um, people do this in different orders, which is great. So I've got a, got another thing to think about is what events affect what you're talking about because it's not it's not fixed we still doing pictorial representations it doesn't matter it doesn't matter but if if to really so say so if so if that was <laughs> if that was trust or whatever yeah. you think it is why you know why is it going up there and why is it going, going down what happened yeah. what's the event yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's lots of things it could have been but here, so like here expectations weren't met so we had reasonable level of trust but it's dropped down to this sort of yeah so so point. So, what what event was at that low point? Yeah. Maybe there's not there's not a right answer, but yeah. yeah. yeah? So yeah. start start plotting a few events on there and just naming them. What do you think yeah. they are? Oh, <laughs> going to coffee now. To play, right? You look happy in this team. Yeah, we're very relaxed. Still got a graph. <laughs> do you know when I do this, I always draw a graph because I can't draw. All. You okay? Yeah, yeah. We, we think we've uh, exploded ourselves. So good, good, okay. Victoria. We've got windows, we've got shutters, we've got no windows, we've got sadness, we've got vegetables, we've got windows, we've got shutters. Cool. We have a fridge at the place I work, and it's open the whole time, and there's an element of trust there that nobody's going to get absolutely smashed at half ten in the morning. <laughs> it's the relaxed atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah, and nobody's done that. Um, this is what we've got, Lawrence. Okay, if so I've got, I've got another aspect for you to think about. What events are going to impact trust? An easy example would be somebody leaving who's key. So somebody leaves, that probably, if it was a key person, that would probably affect something. But there's lots of other events, and I think there's some really important events. I'm particularly interested in events that improve the trust. Because when we walk out of here, we ideally want some sort of, to make some sort of decision about how we can influence trust in the right direction, mm. not in the wrong direction. Doing it in the wrong direction is easy, isn't it? That would be drinking too much beer, for example. <laughs> and I think some of them are really obvious and quite easy, but some of them are quite complex. So have a think about that and see what you think, yeah? Does that make sense? So what events? Try and put something on there that shows something happened and this is what happened to trust. Go off on a bit of a tangent, so a new piece of paper's maybe good. Whose trust is it you're actually thinking about? Who is it? There's, there's no right answer, but I think there's a list there and actually it's more complicated than we think it is. So where did you get to with events? You've got trust on time. a lot of conversation and not a lot of writing. Well, that's okay. You look happy still. It comes down to any changing team dynamic, be it yeah. somebody joining or leaving. Or having so you're almost impact. saying any event, almost. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. So. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. If yeah. somebody leaves, that's going to have an effect. And yeah. if somebody joins, there's somebody yeah. you don't know who's now involved with it. You, yeah. The trust is going to go. They there. might be a genius, but we don't trust them yet. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Continual, it changes as well. Continual delivery is, um, is, is good. So if you continually and consistently deliver something, yeah. Your trust graph creeps up. That's where I'm. That's where I'm headed. Yeah, yeah. So I was Mr. Negative. I was doing the. I was doing the. It falls over a Sunday night. Yeah. And the impact of that is a degradation of trust. And then also yeah. we had a long yeah, yeah. conversation around the role of technology. And then the team has to choose technology. And if the team are empowered to get on with it and learn the new technology and give it space to do it and then carry on delivering, that was fine. But that but, felt like a. But for how long? Yeah. Etc. Yeah. And that's where I'm heading, yeah. So yeah. it comes out to like an openness and the amount you're willing to communicate with everybody around you. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. All Which is the more hard you work. communicate, the more trust is going to be. Yeah. The yeah. less there's going to yeah. be. Yeah. I've got an observation about this team. You're the only ones working on the table. Working on? Working on the table. Okay, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just, that's my observation. Trust yeah. You trusted else. him too much. Yeah. No, no, anyway, I'm just joking. Yeah, we've got the only table. You're the only people sitting down. Well, he's the only one sitting down. But that's okay, I'm just, I'm just observing. So I've got another, a bit of a 
um, a bit of a curveball. You know, in your analogy that you're all dreaming up in your head, who is it we're talking about? Because I think that's quite complicated. And that's sort of what you're talking about there, isn't it? Different stakeholders, different behaviours, etc. But maybe even just a list of the sorts of people. Who, whose trust do we want? Yeah? Okay. Who is it? Because my suggestion is you will not get everybody's trust. So whose trust do you want? If you're a delivery team, who do you want to trust you? Yeah? There's no right answer, but I think it's quite complicated. I guess who are you, uh, who's the person uh, who's get, trying to get into trust, or do we not know that? Well, that's what I'm, I'm asking you. To, what, what do you think? So if, if, if the context is, imagine that we're a delivery team, then who do we want to trust us? That's my question. So, oh, yeah, the, the, uh, so the trust of the team as a whole. All of us. <laughs> yeah, this is not inter-team trust. This exactly. is the team is a thing. Who do we want to trust the thing? All right. Yeah. Do you find it easier to think about what increased trust? Oh, you found that easier? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Well, that's that's those are the things you want. So that's good. Exactly. That's good. Internally, I'm not. So. Oh, I see. So you've got increasing trust, have it, having your back, taking time to help others. So I'd say those are all good behaviours for increasing trust. Okay. I want to see some events. What are you going to do? Yeah? What are you going to do to increase trust? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. So as a team, if you're thinking, oh, you know, if, if you ended up talking about it, you think, well, we're not trusted as much as we like to be. What do you need to do? What, oh, okay. what event? And I, th I agree, those are all things, those are the ways you need to behave. Yeah. I, I like those. And I'm saying, well, can you also think about what events are you going to make happen oh, right. to build trust? Okay. It's the opposite of making someone leave, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm thinking bigger now about bigger events. Uh, I mean, what, what? You're talking about behavioural. To gain trust as a team, that's one of the key things to see when companies deliver on promises. Yeah, so, so I'm thinking deliver. So explore that. So what are the events around delivering? I'm moving into that next. So yes, I agree, deliver something. So what are the events? So what do we John to do sales? Yeah. So if you say deliver, I'm thinking the event is deliver a whatever the language is, release something or whatever your language is, that's an event. It's got to be important. And then when I come back around again, I'm going to explore that in more detail. Because how many times and how often, etc., etc. That's where I'm headed. Yeah, is that okay? We, talk, we were talking about the events that make that go up. Yeah? Yeah, yeah so we could relate to an actual example. So okay, similar to good. what you described, yeah. one of our team leads yeah. actually left the team. And yeah. we, this was an offshore team, yeah, and we were struggling quite a lot. But you know, the reliance on the wider team was on that tech lead, right? Okay. So when they left, we actually found that the rest of the team started to step up, communicate, about okay, everyone to share ideas. And, does, and does, so I can see that would help trust within the team. What about trust of that team? Is that is that so relevant my, as well? My trust working with that team, yeah. Oh, so you were outside that team yeah, looking so in? Oh, I see. Team okay, okay. Yeah. So, so next level I want you to think about then is. What about events where we're actually delivering? So if we're releasing, start to show me what's the relationship being re between releasing stuff, you know, delivering software, how does that affect trust? Because that's a key event. That. Yeah, and you've, you, you'll have started to think about that, but I, I want to actually see that, because when I come around next time, I've got a lot more detail about, because when you're talking about releasing, you can say, well, how soon are you going to release? How often are you going to release? I want, I want to start exploring that because that affects trust. Yeah? Get challenged? Do people say, no, you're just sandbagging that because they don't trust you? Trust that you've given an estimate? Does that say money bags there? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, like that. I know exactly what that means. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not obsessed about you coming up with a huge list, but have you, have you explored the fact that this, this, there's quite a lot of different people that we need their trust? Have you talked about the fact that actually gaining their trust might be quite a different challenge for different roles. Has, has that come out? You're sort of nodding. We have only discussed one role. So <laughs> no, well, well that, te that tells us something, doesn't but, it? It's yeah. complicated, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So maybe I'm jumping ahead a bit, but you've, already, you, you've quite easily come up with quite a big list of people that you want to trust you, this team we're thinking about. So we need to figure out how they all no, I mean there isn't there isn't time to do that. I'm not cared about. I don't care about the detail, but I think in general, 
that if you can, if you spent quite a long time thinking about just one of those, could would you say that all the things you've come up with for team are equally applicable to all of that list, or are they differently applicable and it's complicated? Probably different ones for most of those mm. different categories. It's going to be different, isn't it? Unfortunately, and that's kind of where I'm getting to. Is this is complicated, yeah? And it's interesting, isn't it? You know, like um, when the astronauts Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, uh, at some point in time, we built up enough trust in all the people that worked at NASA that it was going to work. Because you know, I've got nothing yeah. had gone before. Nobody had done that before. And the guys got into the rocket ship knowing that it might well blow up because the last one yeah. did. But they There's trusted somebody. Probably in the fact that he's something like Neil Armstrong was prepared to yeah. be there. Yeah. Was yeah. A bit more risk, less risk averse. Which could yeah. come down to his beliefs. Yeah. He really believed in the space race. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It would just be the fact that he, he didn't feel like he was being lied to. Like yeah. there was no cover. They, they were, you know, we are honest about the fact that you could well die trying to do this. And he was the kind of person who was willing Yeah, to there's definitely that. something about honesty building trust. Mm. Not everybody uses that. It's not a technique, I've been a bit cynical, but not everybody does that. Mm. So Some people seem to gain trust and they're a bit dishonest, but I, I, I personally think if someone's honest with me, I'll, I'm more likely to trust them. Yeah. That, that's what you're saying, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I want you to flip back now to events. Yeah. All, all these things overlap, but I want you to go back to events, but I want you to think about releases. How do releases affect trust? Yeah. Ideally, working software, which we sometimes struggle to get to, don't we? But, but, and that links into the nightclub analogy is, I want you to show me the relationship be between releasing stuff and trust in the team. I think you're, um, you're restricted by the width of your pillar here, aren't you? Yeah. You notice that? Come back. Well, you know what that means, right? <laughs> well, what, what, what we do where I work is we just wrap it around and carry on, because yeah? we haven't got a lot of wall. Um, in fact, I've got a photo of that on here to show somebody that. They say, oh, we haven't got any walls. I say, use your pillars, it's fine. Just go around the pillar. So how, how are you doing? You, you look like you're happy. Where have you got to? Have you got any, any amazing, um, what's the word? Revelations. Revelations, Revelations. Or, or whatever. Well, it's a matter of perspective. Trust, isn't yeah. it? I think that's the first thing. Yeah. I think we all assumed, well, trust, we're talking stakeholders, right? People. Yeah, and, and they've written a list of stakeholders. But then so, it's so, like, well, no, it's, it's yeah. trust in your colleagues within a team, yeah. other and squads yeah. doing if your similar things. trust itself intrinsically. Yeah. Can it, can no, it no one else is going to trust it. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. can they go upwards yeah. and downwards? Yeah. And, and, and what is trust? In a team, what's a good team's trust about? So there's a really motivation, reward, yeah. achievement. Which is different for different people, etc. Yeah, but okay. If they don't have any of that, they don't yeah. have some of those things that make the team good. Can they, will they end up being trusted and delivering? Yeah, to okay. From outside. Yeah, so it's almost saying if we if we don't believe, how, how are they going to yeah. believe us? Yeah, okay. So you're thinking about people, yeah? Good. Uh -huh. So who's okay. this is left? Right. Um, that is a, he's going to put a stake in his heart. Yeah, yes, a stakeholder. A stakeholder. Yeah. A stakeholder. Genius, <laughs> genius. Over there, they've called one of the stakeholders money bags. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay, so what have you got any, can you sum up on, on when you've been thinking about people? As an individual, your team, as a team, everyone else essentially. Other teams are managers, and then yeah. as a company, you want just from, well, as, a, as a company, you want your customers to trust you. Yeah. I mean, ideally, you want everyone to trust you, but that's a full-time job, I think. So then you're going to have... To... So my next question just on there would be, is, is, is sort of your challenge regarding the trust of these people, is it the same for each one? No. Is it the same challenge? Is it a different challenge? I, d I don't know. It's a different relationship, isn't it, between... It, it like, yeah. me, trusting, me having trust for my team is a very almost a personal relationship. Because I'm thinking about trust of, of the team. Yeah. Right. yeah, trust. Yeah, so that's, so that's these are external stakeholders yeah. mostly. So, I I think it's complicated. It probably you know it depends about it, even it's not about whether they're an architect. It's about what the personality is like. It's complicated. So you could get spend a lot of time seeking the trust of all these different people, which is really challenging. So you okay? So Dev test. What does that say? Poo. The next one. Natalie <laughs> <laughs> Tubbs. Oh, sorry. Product owner. Okay, product owner. So we're kind of like this is. The team and it's within the team that you need to carry and feel like there's trust. Yeah. And then the trust radiates out. Oh, I see. Then you've got the, the suits, etc. Yeah. Money bags. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, whether it's your external stakeholders. And so, so with all these people, is the cha your challenge in, in terms of building their trust, your challenge as a team to build their trust, is it the same challenge for each of these people, each of these roles, or is it different? I think um, it's, it, and it almost those four guys with the ties, it might be different for each of them as well. Unfortunately, it's complicated. Yeah. As you sort of said, um, we, we took it into a separate page to do the trust piece. So this is whose trust you want. Correct. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Do you think it, the challenge in building, in, in earning these people's trust, is it the same challenge for all of them or is it different? Oh, I, think, I think it's different because I think everybody around that spiral has a, but it's possibly if, a everybody mode, Everybody yeah. agrees with you. Yeah, yeah it, it's complicated, isn't it? So I don't want to dwell on it, but there's going to be some sort of prioritisation going on here because this could be a full-time job. Yeah? yeah, this is stakeholder management basically. Yeah? Is, yeah, but I think in the end, what you do naturally is you you prioritise and say, oh, we really need that guy to trust us because he's the sponsor. We know the architects don't trust us, but we haven't got time to make friends with them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, yeah, but just being aware of it is a good start, I think. What I'm thinking about is there's a direct relationship between releasing software and building trust, but it's more complicated than that because how soon are you going to start releasing? How often are you going to release? How do those things affect trust? Can you plot that for me? If you, you know, assume you've got a series of releases, how's that going to build it? So each release, we've got a level of issues, and then a trust, trust line going up the belt. So when there's more issues, trust line goes I'm sorry, let me, let me, let me simplify it. I, I, I get, wait, keep it simple. Let's call it a successful release. Yeah? So if you release successfully, you know, X times, how does that build trust? I think it's simple, but then I'm going to drill into that. Sorry to interrupt, but this is related to, because I'm a bit... It's all related, everything's yeah, related. Yeah, yeah I know, yeah. But, but I mean, I'm a bit, bit, say, say we'll start with the previous question about okay, okay. How, how you can... The, pe the people? No, the one with how you can prove to the stakeholder, to the other people, that your team can be trusted. Well, th I, th I think the next bit is, is part of that. It's part of that. Because because that's the challenge, isn't it? Yeah. But So I'm saying, if, if, let, let's use it to answer your question, but yeah. if we're trying to build, to earn somebody's yeah. trust, whoever it is yeah. you're thinking about, yeah. I'm saying releasing will help build their trust. Well, Show right. me what that looks like. So that, that's yeah? one of the answers. Yeah, it's there. one of them. But yeah. Because then I'm going to come back and I'm going to say, yeah, but what about if that bit failed? Or what about if that bit failed? because it's different depending on where yeah. you fail, yeah? yeah, yeah. It, it's different. Yeah, but so right. think of it in terms of how can we answer that question. For this person, right. if we release stuff, their trust will improve. Show, well, show, me, show me what it looks like, yeah? yeah? Because yeah. The, the cadence makes a difference. Yeah. The, the time to the first release makes a difference. Show yeah. me, show yeah. me, yeah? All right. Okay, so start to plot something, yeah? You can, I thought that's what you were doing there. It kind of might look like that. But I want to see some events on there. Why did it go up there? What happened? Why did it go up? What happens if that event was late? What happens if it was early? That's where I'm heading. Yeah. What happens if something goes wrong in that release cycle? So start exploring that and drawing it. It's probably, it's probably this. You've got it here. But this is going to get complicated. I want to see the detail. Make it big. Yeah. We already had it was not successful. Well, that, when that well handled failure is a gr growing point of yeah. trust. And, and that's something that I'll, that's a, a question I'll ask you, but I'll, I want to see it in, in a graph over time because I think it gets quite useful then. I, I don't mind, but I want to see time moving and you releasing stuff, and I want to see trust growing because then within that there's some there's some complex problems I think. So trust with a release. Yeah. So you, you've. Put it in here. So as you release, you're, you're we're, improving the we're trust. Further delineated yeah. Here, oh, so oh, so you've done it again. Yeah. Trust okay. Releases. Yeah. You've got that first void black yeah. hole. We've got no value. You don't know the team. Yeah. Team you're team waiting. Team you're waiting. Working. Yeah. You know, are they actually going to make it work? First release, MVP, whatever. Boom. Sky high. Yeah. The so, so my question is, what's the difference? If these are successful releases, mm -hmm. which is what I said, if what if one of them fails? Here we go. Yeah, so what's so the difference between that one and that one? So that's, you know, general increase of trust as they continue yeah. to recent release yeah. incrementally. Five, six, oh shit, is after the volcano, and it sort of indicates that. Yeah. There's a drop. Yeah. A bit. 
But you know, you've built up enough yeah. trust. Yeah, you've built trust, haven't you? You've, you've, earned, you've earned trust. it. Yeah. So what about if that one failed? What happens then? If that one so fails, show, so, so, so that's I'll, what you learn. That's I'll, leave, you learn. I'll leave you with these thoughts. I'm going to move on over there. So what if that one failed? Yeah. And my other question is, why did you put that there? Because I'm telling you it's there. This is not as simple as it first appears. So you're assuming you've got some trust. Well, I'm telling you, you haven't got any trust. Yeah. So my new scenario is you're starting off without any trust. In fact, they don't trust you, and your first release fails. They don't trust me. They don't trust the team, because the team's done something stupid or whatever. So you started with positive trust. I'm just throwing it, throwing a curveball, and we're saying, yeah, yeah. you've got negative trust, and your first release fails. So have a think about that and draw something else that shows that. Um, more graphs. No, I think graphs are good for this, yeah. So releasing, 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 infrequent, yeah, yeah. We're saying that it's perhaps more likely that with infrequent yeah. releases there'll be a problem because it's a big complex change. It's likely to be happening. Why did you start trust so high at the beginning? I couldn't be bothered thinking about where to start. <laughs> so so as, 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 a, as, a, as a, an interesting conversation, what about if it starts there, yeah. which is mistrust, and you fail there. Have a think about that, because it's really scary. So on day one, we're heading towards the first release and nobody trusts us. Because that's often how it is, I think, yeah? So two questions in one. We've got, we're finishing within 10 minutes, yeah? So show me the difference between failing on release one and failing on release five, because it's totally different in terms of trust. And it gets scary if you then overlay to that. We're starting below the axis in terms of trust, because if you're below the axis, and then you fail, what happens to trust in that team? What's the difference between, say, failing release one compared to failing release five in the context of trust? We've got that already. <laughs> so, so it's great, okay. So yeah, it depends on a lot of things, but just in general, I would rather fail on release five than on release one if I'm trying to build trust. Because if I fail on release one, what happens to trust? Show me, yeah? This is interesting, actually, because you started at zero in both cases. There's, there's no right answer here. I'm just sharing what the other teams are doing. Most teams started there, okay? I would like you to talk about what happens if it started down there. Okay. Because that gets scary then, especially in the context of if you fail the first release. Okay. Yeah? And I think you'll reach a conclusion then, and then we'll sit down. Uh, so, so you think about failing now, yeah, and starting below the axis, so great, yeah, okay, we're, we're yeah. Minus 20 trust, we, yeah. we're, we're, we're not happy, we're not getting on, that's yeah. where we started. Uh, we try and release and it bombs. Yeah, so, it so you fail early. <laughs> early. <laughs> yeah. Fail early. Yeah. And what does this tell me, So that's, sadly? That's, so, you know, on, on this one we were optimistic, we failed yeah. there, Yeah. And we, but, but we turned it round through, we, we overcame the obstacle, we had a positive mindset, we... Um, we, we, you, you pulled we got it to back. The team. We spent time with them. We said you'd earned you'd earned some trust, so we, you. Yeah. Here, so here, what does that tell us in general? Path. So here, it bombs. It rarely gets better. It turns into apathy. Um, people stop caring. Yeah, you just end up with it's the, it's the nightclub scenario, yeah. isn't it? You I think. Up, you end up I think. Yeah. Falling out at two in the afternoon. And a I think. I think that's. I've, I've, I'm working with a team that I think is like this. Luckily, I'm working with lots of teams, but I, I think you've got to scrap it. You've got, to scrap, you've got to split up the team, I, I think, because otherwise you'll never be trusted. But if you'll go and do something else, you might be. Yeah. It's, it's a bit scary, that, I think. It's but for me, it's, it's not a parachute it's, job, it's a complete rework. Yeah, and it, it's a lesson about making sure that you do something good here. Yeah. That, that's where, where I'm getting to. So fail first release, yeah. So does that mean trust going up? or is it, so trust? Yeah. You're failing, but trust is going up. Oh, sorry, so the, I'm looking at the wrong tiles. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So that's okay. So, so it goes down. And did you think about what about if you're in a position of mistrust at the beginning? We did, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we so thought like what Because you can it, overlay it. It depends on experience it, of the team or... It depends on it. But, but you, could, you could, and the simplest thing I've seen is if you just overlay here. So if you fail early, but you actually started low, mm -hmm. then you, you're like that. Yeah. yeah? And the trouble is that, is that you may never get back. Positive. Which is scary, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, for me, what that means is, I, I, I think that's that's the nightclub scenario, mm -hmm. and it means that we need to make sure we do not fail on that, mm -hmm. because especially if we know that we're not trusted, we've got to get that out the door. Otherwise, we're facing this endless gloom. Yeah. Yeah. That's one Makes of the key sense. things for me. So, if, sit down, and we'll just kind of sum up. So, you've been gloom and doom. Did where did you get to with if you start below the axis? It's gloom. 
it's it's shut down. It, it's nightclub scenario, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Yes, that's what I think. Yeah. 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 It's people's patience, etc. It's a bit like the nightclub scenario because you talked a bit about how long are people going to wait for the first release. It's the same thing, but this really makes me think about how important is that first release? It's so important, especially if you haven't got any trust yet. That, that's that's what I use this with teams to make them realise that they're gold plating and they need to ship now. They need to ship. That's what I use it for. Even if you release something very, very simple. Yeah. But if you can release something that works, so here look, we're making progress. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to sit down now. But so did you get into this kind of gloom doom situation where you might never get out of a mistrust? It's, it's quite scary, isn't it? But I think the way I look at that is okay. If if for example you're 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 not really trusted yet, you need to make sure you ship something as soon as possible, because if you wait too long, you may never ever be trusted. Which is quite frightening, but it just make I use that to focus teams on stop gold plating, ship something. Otherwise, you're going below the axis. Yeah. Right. Thank you for that. Thank you for being um, enthusiastic and open-minded. Um, we haven't really got time for questions, but we've been all chatting anyway, so that's fine. I'm just going to sum up. You, you kind of all came to similar conclusions, but the, the one in particular that interests me is that you haven't got long to build trust. And if the team is already not really, either not earned any trust, or they might even have some mistrust, then I would really try and focus the team on shipping something as soon as possible. Because otherwise, some of you drew this really scary graph that kind of just carried on going down into the future. And we started talking about scrapping teams and scary stuff. So I, I use that to get teams to focus on, let's ship something useful as soon as possible. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you.